The county's public defender's office is facing two lawsuits. Two former employees say upper management at the county's public defender's office created a hostile work environment that forced them out. ABC 10 reporter Danny Miskell is at City Hall right now where this morning their lawyer gave more details about their allegations. Danny. Hi, Melissa. Yes, yeah, so the two plaintiffs are actually a married couple, and both of them were public defenders for almost 20 years. Now, the wife, Whitney Antrim, says that she was verbally abused and harassed, and when she brought it to her deputy public defender's attention, he idly stood by and did nothing, and even allowed for her to be further retaliated against when she was trying to speak up. Here's what she had to say. Representing the voiceless of San Diego, thousands of them over the years was my pride and joy. Management and the union are destroying them. The toxic workplace endures to this day and no change has been made despite the verdicts against them, multiple whistleblower complaints and ethical complaints. It remains the same and morale is falling by the day. Attorneys have left in droves. It's a, under California Gomez trial attorneys say Antrim started getting harassed in 2016. Antrim says she was verbally abused and some of the comments upper management made to her were also sexual in nature. She pleaded multiple times within the office and with the union to get help with her supervisors and Antrim says she was silenced. She ended up resigning in 2021 and shortly after her husband Keenan Gultiken, another public defender, resigned as well because because he says the harassment transferred from his wife to him after she left. Gomez trial attorneys say they are calling on the county administration office and board of supervisors to replace leaders in the public defender's office. This culture of work environments unconditionally protecting the males at the top despite their despicable behaviors needs to end. No one should be exempt from the law. And from where we stand, allowing an abuser to quietly retire and enjoy a cushy pension for the rest of their lives while their victims spend their lives in distress from their abuse is supporting and endorsing the wrongful and illegal behaviors. We're here for justice and we're here for change. We reached out to the County Office of Public Defenders for comment and we are still waiting to hear back. Antrim and the Gomez attorney, Gomez trial attorneys are also saying that they're calling for an independent investigation to be launched into the office on the culture surrounding all of these verbal harassment cases because as we mentioned earlier, this is not the first time that it's happened. The last time it happened was during the Zachary Davina trial. He actually just uh, settled that lawsuit earlier this year and he won $2.6 million out of it. As as well as Michelle Reno says she won $900,000 from that lawsuit and it was all for the same things that Antrim faces that she alleges in this office. Live in downtown, I'm Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News.